So today I'm going to explain something to you. This may happen to you. This may happen to a lot of people. Let's just say if you actually playing YouTube video, okay? Let's just say you're going to play a YouTube video. And most likely your YouTube video, if you haven't set up anything yet, it should be, okay? It should be not 1080p or maybe not 4K. It maybe is running 720 automatic usually because it's using mobile data or usually when you're using YouTube a lot and they realize that hey, you don't even need 4K. So they actually running 720p or 1080p. However, for some people, if they're using your mobile data or using Wi-Fi, sometimes they're buffering, okay? Or if you actually set up to 4K, then sometimes it just doesn't even run at all. Okay, it doesn't even run at all sometimes because your mobile data, your mobile data is slow, your Wi-Fi is slow. How do we speed this up? So in order to speed this up, it's actually there is a setting inside that I would like to show to you. This might work for some people, most people. This may not work for most of the people. All right. So we're going to go into the setting and then we're going to all the way down. There is like this developer options. If you do not know how to turn this on, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to show it to you how to turn this on. You go to about phone, you go to software information and then go to building number and keep tapping until it shows you, hey, use your pen so or pattern. So I'm going to use my pattern and then they will say allow developer development setting. OK, now developer mode has been enabled. Now we're going to go in there and then developer options right here. Okay. It's hidden right there. And now we're going to turn two things on. And these are the things that I'm going to explain to you why it is important. But right now we're just going to turn those things on. So we're going to scroll all the way down. Or if you want, you can go tap tracing. Okay. System tracing. We're going to go in there. And now we are going to per CPU bubbling size. Make sure that because I changed already, but make sure that I go to the least buffing size. Why is this important? It's because if you are only watching videos, um, not even like 4K, we're talking about 1080p, or if you're just browsing on internet, you don't need a bigger buffer size. These buffer size is only for if you want to do gaming, if you're watching a 4K video, a movie, then they need a buffer size to kind of like give more information to the video to play or gaming. But if you actually just doing browsing or watching like 720p, you don't need a lot of buffer size. You actually want a smaller buffer size and they don't have to process too much to give you the quality of your video or your audio or your even your browsing internet. All right. So the smaller buffer sizes is better unless you're playing video games. Now let's just go back outside. And there's one more thing we have to turn on. It's actually down here. It's called network download rate limit. If you go in here, like I said, I already set this up already, but it's no limit. If you haven't set up this yet, it should be around here back then by default. But in here, you just go to no limit. Now, if you actually change all these, if you go back to your internet and things like that, it should be much better, even though you're running 4K on YouTube. It's because that we already changed the buffer size much smaller, so they don't have any more buffing uh, time. Okay, so this is actually quite important if you are considered like, hey, how come my internet is running so slow? Some people out there are still using 4G, right, on your mobile data, and I want to see a perfect video without any buffing, you want to turn that on, all right? So please subscribe my channel and share this video. I hope this will help you. And you can see right now, it's actually not too bad. Usually when I was running a 4K video, usually they keep loading, 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 loading. And right now it looks like it looks pretty good. And I hope this will help you on your experience browsing internet. Okay, thank you very much and have a good day. Bye bye. Peace out.